Many organisations want to participate in open source communities, but they have to balance the risk of upstream contributions with compliance, legal and security concerns. Open source program offices are teams that help companies contribute to the open source community while balancing and managing that risk. Now companies can realise several benefits by working upstream, such as staying current on project updates, increasing developer happiness and brand reputation by becoming a good open source citizen, and reusing open source libraries or components so development teams can focus on solving core business problems rather than reinventing the wheel. But those benefits must be balanced against risks such as leaking non-public IP, secrets or personally identifiable information, or policy risks like making sure a contributor license agreement is in place or incompatible product licenses. In other words, companies are looking for a private mirror to make and review changes before contributing upstream. Now forking is a common approach to open source contributions, but the visibility of a fork must match the upstream project. So for a public project, the fork must also be public. This leads us to the Private Mirrors app, a self-hosted or GitHub managed application. It is a web front end and service that maintains a set of private mirrors mapping to public forks inside the organization. But to explain it, let's see it in action. First, we start by forking the upstream project in the GitHub user interface as normal. For example, here you can see that we have GitHub's upstream org metrics dashboard project. We already have a fork created, so we'll navigate to the fork in our GitHub OSPO test organization. From there, you can use the Private Mirrors app to configure a private mirror of the fork. In the Private Mirrors app, we see the organizations where our public forks reside. When we click into one of the forks, such as the metrics repository, we can see that several private mirrors have been created. This allows separate teams across the company to set up their own mirror and not overlap with each other's contributions. They can be renamed or deleted from here. So let's go and create a new mirror, and you'll see that we've configured the app to create the mirror in a different organization. This is an organization backed by enterprise managed users. Now these private mirrors are where the bulk of your development will take place. You can enable the needed quality checks such as builds and tests or automation to help with policy enforcement. Now those checks must pass before a pull request can be merged into the private mirror. When the private mirror's main branch is updated, the app syncs the changes back to the public fork. And at this point, you can complete the regular upstream contribution process by raising a pull request from the fork to the upstream repo. To find out more about the Private Mirrors app, check out gh.io slash PMA.